Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is Emily and my granddaughter and my son brought me some of this Serpa yarn from Michaels and my granddaughter picked out these two colors. I've never had the Serpa yarn before and they only got me two skeins. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab what it said. Well, I have an eight millimeter. It calls for a nine. I'm going to use my 8mm and I'm going to start a circle and see how big of a circle I can get out of two skeins. So let's go ahead and find the end to this. It is a very pretty, it's um, like an orangish color. And on here, it, um, I don't see where it tells me the color. There we go, light coral. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my yarn out and I'm gonna put it on my hook. It is the eight millimeter hook and this yarn is so soft. And it does not feel like it's gonna tear apart. There's kind of like a, a nice rope that it's coming out of. That's the only way I can describe it. It's really nice. So I'm going to do a circle, see how big I can get my circle to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chain three. I'm going to try to leave it nice and loose. I don't want to pull it tight. Now I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go into that very first stitch. See, you can see there's like a rope in there. So I'm going to yarn over and go into that first stitch. And I want a total of 12. So I actually did four double crochets. Because I wanted three for the double crochet in the um, first stitch that I'm going into. So that chain three is going to count as uh, a stitch. So we're just going to count and do a total of 12 all the way around. It is really easy to work with. Just trying to keep everything nice and loose. Might have to concentrate a little bit when it comes to looking for the, the stitches because it's just uh, nice and puffy. It's a very pretty color. So I can find that hole in the middle really easy. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find uh, the stitches when I start going around really easy also. It almost reminds me of like a burnt orange. Very light burnt orange. So after we have 12... I'm going to do a slip stitch in the top of that chain three. Look at how pretty and thick that, that is very thick. So I'm just going to do a slip stitch. I'm going to go around again with this pretty color. And I am going to go ahead and chain three. And this three is going to count as a double crochet. I am going to go into that same stitch of where that uh, chain three is because I'm going to be doing two double crochets in each stitch. Now after I do this row where I went into that opening where I did the three double crochets, I won't be doing that again. 
I'll always go to the next stitch when I start. So I'm just going to do it on this row. So we're going to do two double crochets and each stitch all the way around. Might just take you a moment or two to find those openings. Boy, this is so pretty. It feels so soft. It just feels good. And this double crochet, boy, I don't know. I might have to buy some more of this and use a different stitch so I can see if it comes out as thick. But of course, I'm using a, um, an 8 millimeter instead of a 9, which is what it's called for. So just go ahead and do two in each stitch all the way around. So I went all the way around. We're going to get our other color out here. It's a very pretty green. It might look like a blue in this lighting, but it's a green. It's really pretty. And I just want to put a row of this on so you can see that it's a circle pattern because you can't see much of a pattern with all this furriness. So I'm just going to pull it through like a stitch, a slip stitch from the, the top of that chain three. Pull it through. And now I'm just going to grab my new color. I'm going to leave that little tail hang. And I'm going to chain three. I'm trying not to make my my stitches really tight. Now I'm not going to cut off that that orange because I plan on changing it the next round. So I'm going to bury that uh, tail and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it through a couple of um, the stitches that we're going to be going over just because I think you know going through just to give it a little little extra hold in place. So we are going to do the double crochets in each stitch around because we want it to continue to lay flat. So I'm going to go into the next stitch from that chain and I'm going to do two double crochets. Because we want our, our project to continue to lay flat. So we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So pretty. And it's working up so fast you can see my whole hand. It almost covers my whole hand when I look at the stitches. So we're going to do uh, the two double crochets in each stitch with this color and then when I get done with this color when I go around I'm going to change it back to this pretty coral and then you'll see when you lay your project down and it, you know it's going to depend on how tight you crochet if you, you crochet loose like me if it's going to start rippling you know because we want it to stay flat all the way around. I am going to do a double crochet and then two single crochets and then another double crochet in my next round so that my project is going to lay flat. And I will probably do that with the next two rows and I do want the next two rows to be in the coral. And my plan is to continue to use the coral until it's all gone and then I'm going to change it to this uh, pretty greenish color and that's my plan and I don't think it will be very big but I will let you know 
You might have to buy some more of this and try a different stitch. But this is so pretty and it's soft and it's round. I'm thinking about um, giving it to my, my little Jackie for his dog bed because he has a blanket I made him five years ago. And he loves his blankie. It's his favorite blanket. And uh, he likes to lay his head on it. But this would be really nice and soft to put his whole body on it. And his little bed is right next to the heat vent. Um, sometimes the cats try to take his bed. But Jackie deserves it. So, I'm here at the end. And I'm just going to go ahead and do me a double crochet in that chain three spot. And as you can see, I'm going to bring that orange around so it's carried up but I'm not bringing it through so all I did was wrap it around so that I could carry it up instead of having a string so now I'm going to do my my slip stitch and I'm going to bring that orange yarn through Coral yarn through. Slip stitch all the way through. Really happy now. I'm done with the green, greenish color. So I'm just going to cut it and I am going to tie it in a knot. And then this way I can go ahead and bury that. Sorry if my voice is a little scratchy. There we go. So now I'm ready to do and right there all I'm doing is I'm taking the green going through the back loop just to secure it a little bit better so that it makes it easy when I go to bury it. Isn't it pretty? I picked two really good colors. I know I'm really gaudy and like odd colors. And you can see here where at least it's not tight, but you can tell that it's ready to have some extra stitches put in there so that it doesn't start to curl. It's just beautiful. I love these colors together. It's very soft. And now with this light, more of the sunlight, because last night I was doing it without the sunlight, you can see the stitches a little bit better. So I have my tail and I'm going to bury it as I go. So I'm not going to go into this first one, I'm going to go into the next one. And I'm going to do two double crochets. You all, if you all know me and have seen my videos before, you know that I, li I like, I don't like, but I do make mistakes sometimes. So, if I make a mistake, you know what, I'm not going to be able to see it in this puffy yarn. Okay, so I did two in that one. I'm going to do one double crochet in the next two. I'm going to bury that. And that buried really nicely. So I have two double crochets, one, one, and then I'm going to do two in the next one. So I have my two, one, one, and this is a two. So just do this all the way around, and then I'm going to see what this is going to look like when I get done, and then I will decide if I want to only have one in between each double crochet because of course you know you just want to lay it down and you just want it to be flat wow so we went around with one double crochet or two double crochets in one one double crochet one double crochet and then two and it's laying pretty flat but right here 
you can see that it's like coming up on its own telling me that I can delete some more stitches. So I want to keep going in my this peach color and so my next row I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a double crochet the two uh double crochet one double crochet one double crochet two double crochets just like I did with this last round so I'm going to do that again around and see how it looks well I gotta tell you I think it looks great almost done with this second round after this uh green and so I think I'm just going to keep going and I'm just going to keep doing the two double crochets in one stitch, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, and two in the following one. And I think I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around until it gets, till I use all my yarn and then I will be back to show it to you. And um, it is just so thick. But I think uh, my little baby Jackie is 16. You know, I keep saying he's 16. I think I've said he's 16 for four years. He's an old man. He's going to appreciate it. And I think this will wash up really good. So as soon as I get it done, he has three beds in the house, two in the living room, one in the bedroom. So I think I will wash up one of his beds, get it all clean, and then I'll put this on the bottom and see how he likes it. But thank you for watching, and um, I would recommend this yarn to anyone. It would be a nice rug, and my daughter saw it. She said she thought that this would make really good, um, you wouldn't even need to stuff it or anything because it's so thick, to make them to put them on your chairs. You know, I have hard uh, wood chairs at my kitchen table, and she said that these would make great seat covers and she's right they certainly would so I'm going to continue and I will be back to show you my finished project I just had to show Ava uh, knitting or knitting making biscuits on the blanket because uh, she really really loves this blanket isn't Ava beautiful So this is Jackie's little area. I'm really glad I decided to do this for his bed. He likes to have his bed crinkled like this next to the heater. These are cat toys. but Sometimes they like to come over and take over his bed. So, oh my gosh, I bet that's not very comfortable. I got stuff over here. A mouse and a dog too. So I don't want to, oh, another dog too. We don't want to take, um, this is his favorite blanket I crocheted him like six years ago. And then he just has this flannel. So I thought I would just go ahead and put this right over the top. Hey, Jackie. Jackie. Come here. Let's see. And look at that. This is about 20 inches wide. I just made it into a circle. Look at this, honey. Oh, he likes it. Is it soft? I'm going to make sure that I watch to make sure those cats don't come and try to take off with it. Because they like to take off with this stuff. And he likes to be near the heater. And then he liked to have his blankets kind of like right here when he, especially this one's his favorite, to have his head laying over it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Alex has come over already. Alex likes to take this bed over. And so I hope you, you like this tutorial because this is so soft. He is just going to love it. He has another bed here, one of those um, big puffy ones for the storms gets in it, makes it feel all cuddly. I bet he'll be sleeping in this one. But all he does all day is get up from this bed and walks to the one next to my chair and then gets up and walks over here between going outside. And he's so old. All he likes to do is sleep. So I'll put this right here. And he's got his little kitty toy stuff all around his bed. He likes to, um, I don't know why all, all of that, the kit, kitty stuff ends up at this bed but it does so you can see Alex there duck here they're you know thinking about maybe getting in here when he goes potty and he's really sweet and he will not make anybody get out of the bed so Alex is gonna play with this kick thing he likes that 
So I hope you liked the tutorial on the blanket. Oh, I did want to tell you that when I got done doing the orange, you're okay, sweet pea. When I got done doing the orange, when I got right to the last two, I started just doing one double crochet all the way around because it was starting to turn, you know, like turning up, which of course for me, it worked perfect. So like I said, you know, all the yarns are different when you're making uh, a circle. Um, so I just want you to see how I made this one. So from here to here, from the end of the to here is all one double crochets. And uh, I used both skeins. So this is two skeins of that yarn. But I hope you liked the tutorial. There's Alex playing with this thing. He is such a hillbilly. He's sweet. And my duck. duck a -poo. So, thank you. Have a great day. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can come back and see some more. And Jackie is going to lay down and enjoy his bed. Thank you. Bye.